Good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing well, actually. Yeah. You? That's good. Yeah. I had a bit of a disaster yesterday with Zoom meetings, but... We did. We did. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to hold my hand up and say, it was all me. It was all me. Um, so, yeah. Take... Do, we, do we admit how many times this has taken us? Well, let's just do the Sesame Street thing. This, um, if you watch Sesame Street as a kid, today's meeting is brought to you by the number three and the letters of D. Yeah. So, yeah. So here we are. Anyway, I also have my own cookie monster with me right now. Oh, right. Because, um, yeah, she's a very needy puppy this morning. But leave me alone. So I'm just going to have her quietly here. A nice interlude, yes. Anyway, hi Gaynor, are you going to introduce yourself? <laughs> yeah, I'm Gaynor Leverett Jakes and this is my Karen, my Karen, my friend Karen, but my Karen too, um, Karen George Art, um, <laughs> artists, and we, um, yeah, actually, do you want to explain the accountability course? Yeah, well, we started off, we met probably a couple of years ago, didn't we, at a... A 44 AD event, a 44 AD art space in Bath, and there's a Christmas event, and we both took part. I think it was 2018, was it? Quite yeah. possibly. Anyway, yes. we hit it off and became firm friends, but we decided that we'd start uh, and become accountability buddies. So, um, again, if you explain what that is all about. Well, basically, um, a lot of artists, and actually business people, anybody, um, you kind of drift alone in this thing where you're just kind of doing stuff and you hope you're doing the right thing. But it's really interesting when you actually have an accountability buddy like Karen, where we have a weekly phone call, actually it's a FaceTime, um, and we chat about our plans for the next week and our intentions and our hopes, and we set goals small ones large ones whatever and then from there every week we kind of check back reflect on the week and our progress and then ongoing 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 and it's really nice because uh, we bounce ideas off each other too and get inspiration inspiration from each other um so i think that kind of does that cover it um yes, yeah yeah we've also um we invited another artist to join us recently gina belford art yeah lovely and gina added a great dynamic to the group too it did because i mean i i was sort of wondering because both gina and i are acrylic artists but we're both very different in how we approach things and i mean she's Sorry. so good on marketing she might mm. not think so but mm. she comes across as really been a natural and it's really engaging all her posts are really engaging and mm. she's certainly brought something else to the to our little face-to-face -face meetings so um yeah, you know, I, I shall enjoy how that because that's relatively new so i enjoy how that sort of pans out yeah and actually i'm starting to look forward to actually meeting face-to-face -face in real life in 2020. Oh, that'd be nice that would be so that'd be really nice that'd be really nice just uh zoomies so yeah. to speak I know. Yes, that's how we started. Um, that's where it all came from. Yeah. And then Karen suggested, well, this is going quite well for us. And a lot of artists are really isolated in 2020, even more so than normal life. So then we started the blog. Yeah. Karen said, I'd like to do this. Can you in? I was like, yeah. It's one of those moments of madness that it was actually i think i think it was actually quite useful and the comments we've had on the blog have been really good yeah. it's just we thought we'd change things up a bit and actually record a a blog session so i don't know what you'd call this a, a is it a video blog or is it a well, it's not really a video blog a zoom blog a zoom zoom bloggy blog blog zoom blog. <laughs> who knows yeah. what, who knows what we'll call it but we'll We'll use the Art Chatter blog and show them on this platform. That platform. Yeah. Um, but we just found that writing, you sort of, you lose the thread a bit and you're sort of a bit more stilted and you, um, 
I sort of think, you know, I've got to type this right spelling without spelling mistakes and yeah. are you chatting? It's, it's also about things where kind of we go off on a tangent and you have a natter about something else, or chatter should I say, um, about something else and you kind of weave your way back and that's really hard to convey in a text conversation. It is. But easier when we're here and people can see how badly we digress. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we care all wrong. It all goes Maybe wrong. Yeah. Can't wish it on. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. So anyway, the whole point of today, we thought we'd have a bit of a theme. Um, because we both bought these. <laughs> yeah. I've got a nice teal, teal and uh, mint green version, and I see you've got the. Yeah. I got the hot version. I think it's really funny how we go for different colours. <laughs> well, no, basically I'm the loud one and Karen's the cool one. Oh, cool. <laughs> That's the first ever. I've never had that said before. But there you go. Yeah. No, but this this was um there's loads of planning books and goal setting books on the market. Yeah. And, um I I get newsletters from the Design Trust, which is an organisation which is set up by Patricia Van Der Nacker. Um, anyway, she, I think this is the year she's put out this planner. And yeah. she's basically pulled together lots of things that you'll find in different books, um, but more that's aimed towards creatives rather than business. So it, whilst yeah. it is a business book, it's actually aimed and sort of geared towards how creatives think. Um, yeah. and the sort of products they produce so I thought well I'm going to have a look I'm going to get hold of it and um, you obviously did too so yeah, that's what yeah. we're going to chat to about uh, chat about today isn't it yeah I have to say we pre-ordered ours so it's probably a little bit more expensive now whilst when we ordered um, but just to kind of it, they are still available but um, again other planners are available yeah. yeah so what have you loved about it so far I love the fact that it's actually made me take time out and stop. Made me yeah. actually think about, um, I mean, last year, as well, this year, I should say, I'm already thinking ahead to next year. I know. 2020 I know. has been um, a sort of real shake up, almost made us sort of rethink totally about what you do. Yeah. Um, but it's actually made me sort of establish what my, uh, I suppose, what my values are, what's important to me made me think ahead what what do I actually want to happen in a year's time five years time ten years time yeah so it's actually forced me to do it and it's a really good process I mean I don't know about you have you found the same or what have you been doing yeah one of the things I really liked about it and I mean, I've done this before in different ways yeah. but it's really nice to have it kind of all together yeah. and that was the, the 10 year plan yeah. I mean I know it's kind of pie in the sky but you put out a 10-year plan or a five-year plan or whatever and this is actually giving us steps towards a practical steps and realistic steps to getting to those goals you know i mean you know if i want my exhibition in new york in 10 years um then i have actually you know it comes slightly more realistic when you actually think well what do i need to do now to get there and it brings you back and back and back to, to basics really about well what are you doing week by week? What are you doing? Yeah. You know, how are you actually achieving this? Yeah. Is it all about the art or is it about talking to people and planning and thinking about things? I know, and I know that, um, I don't know, well, I don't know about you, but I tend to have loads of things on the go at the same time. Yeah. And I'm flitting from one to the other and not really achieving, you know, any way, you know, any sort of, motion forward in any one of them and um, yeah. this makes you think about I, mean, I think she talks about sort of thinking about what your she calls them juicy goals for juicy yeah. goals yeah and, I mean that's quite standard thing to actually say about plans but in terms of actually identifying what are the four things I want to achieve next year yeah and then breaking down to okay maybe think about the time you've got in a year and so it's four four quarters of a year maybe thinking yeah. oh, okay for the first quarter which goal am I going to focus on yeah and sort of moving it forward and then you realize 
there isn't actually a lot of time in a year. When you start to break down what you've got to do, it's you can't really just faff about in January and February think, thinking, oh, I've got all this to do, maybe. You, and then panic. Yeah, you've got to use it. Yeah. And um, I mean, from things, I mean, in, in the past, I've sort of worked from event to event thinking I've got to produce yeah. work for that event and work mm. back from that. So it's mm. a sort of process, but it's a, just a little bit more um, focused and guided. So it's with intention. I think that's the thing because it's easy to jump from event to event and think, oh, I need to do 10 paintings. Oh, hooray. But actually, do we need to do 10 paintings or do we need to do letting people know that we've got an event? And, you know, <laughs> a bit of marketing. <laughs> people, can do people, in. Yeah. people don't know how you can paint away till you're blue in the face. Hello, dog. Um, and never get anywhere. You know, you just, you might as well just call it a hobby yeah I think mm. that's the other thing I think I was listening to um, Patricia did a webinar about mm. um, the planner um, yeah and also she's done uh, a couple thank you for sending it to me as well yeah and she did a couple of um, webinars with a couple of different authors yeah um, one was called um, Pete Mosley and the other one was John Williams and I can't remember because I wrote loads of things down I wrote Reams and reams. I have my nice little book with my little <laughs> book. Actually, I've got top. those as well. You've got one of those stuff. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I write everything down Woo! in it, but I don't have any particular structure to this book. It's just notes and to do lists. Um, yeah, all about art, mind you. But that's yeah. That book. But one thing she did say is that people mistake the amount of time you know, or the proportion of time you need to place on marketing versus yeah. the making and it was yeah. something like almost double the amount of time on marketing to making and it makes yeah. you realize not that you stop doing your painting but you need to actually realize that marketing is a huge part of what you do so you know this is whether we like it or not it's business it is and you know things have changed in the last couple of years especially this year, which, yeah. you know, we all know about the drama of the year sort of thing and the chaos that it's caused. But, you know, if we don't have a plan, I mean, I, I went on, uh, on a, a Rashina Farrell, she's an Irish artist yeah. based out of, I want to say Dublin, but I think I'm wrong. Um, but I went on her marketing course in Cork last year and for, specifically for artists. I thought that was the year before. And I know, I know, this year's been five years long. It's just <laughs> it just feels like that. <laughs> it's been crazy. Yeah, so anyway, the, um, the, the course, it pretty much encapsulates everything in the Design Trust Diary. Yeah. Because we talked about, um, you know, getting your figures right. How much does it really cost you to be an artist, to spend time? How much should your paintings cost, you know, based on that or, you know, so do you, if you, want, you, I mean, I, I've been um, costing paintings with sort of materials framing and my time. Is there any, was, am I missing something? Am I supposed to yeah, add another? So looking at, look at things like, you know, your overheads. How much does it cost you to be in your studio? Yeah. Um, yeah. Your electricity, you know, because we all need, especially at the moment, we all need our daylight lamps on and things. Yeah. Um, you know, it's all those things that you need to factor in um, there are some costs that are you know for example taking part in an exhibition yeah. do you factor that into your paintings you know it's a point yeah because it's all very well saying oh yeah I made two grand at that event but actually did it cost you two grand to be there yeah it's um we have to be realistic sorry I'm just gonna put this down I'm just writing um, down that I'm just writing down that note because I before I forget it, mm. sort of events into part of sub paintings. Yeah. Always learning from you, my dear. Oh, mutual. Yeah, that's the point, isn't it? That you know. Mutual. I mean, that is the point of the accountability calls. Is that you've got a group and a network of people. I've got a group yeah. and a network of people, and we feed off each other and feed from them. And you know, it's so good. You know, it's so positive. 
to and have that. Yeah, and also you come across things that I haven't seen and mm. um, let me know about them. And things like podcasts, I until Gina told me about podcasts, I didn't even know how to get them on my phone, let alone the choice that you have in podcasts. There's so many yeah, I'm, there. I'm a demon for um, listening to books and having podcasts on while I'm in the studio. I am I, now. Uh, I am now. I'm a yeah. Convert. Yeah, it's, uh, it's lovely. Yeah. Yeah, I must have. So, what's inspired you in this book? Um, I think it's just more the results in me so far about this book. Actually, sort of being asked to think about what your strengths and weaknesses are um, mm. and actually identify them what's important and realizing what I, I mean, my 10 year goals is personal to me, mm. but realizing it's quite it is achievable yeah um if you actually sort of set sort of put the action in place now why wouldn't it mm. be achievable it's not yeah what i want isn't sort of you know out of this world and other yeah. artists achieve it i mean yeah. i did i did really like the fact that it gave a balance between your home life and work and mm. art your business art so trying to get a balance between I think she used the analogy of putting rocks in a jar and yeah then you know so you get the important things right first and then you add in the other bits and then you add the sand and then the water so yeah. rather than dealing with all the rubbish things around you all the little things that seem urgent but they're not important mm. and often if you're True rushing around like a headless chicken you will do the urgent rather than the important and actually kind of flip that so that you are yeah. doing the important or valuing the important things first so mm. that i found really valuable i suppose mm. as a reminder because i've read it before you just need to hear it several times sometimes or just reminders um, yeah. yeah i love that the, i love the louise fletcher quote that you gave me a few times the um <laughs> Oh, what did she but say? People she, ask her how she, 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 she Yeah, she sent a newsletter out. I, I mem we're both members of um, Louise's mm. Art Tribe, and mm. she sends out a weekly newsletter to artists. I think I send, I get, and she sends a newsletter to the Art Tribers, but also to a mailing list. And I don't know which one it was yeah. on. But anyway, yeah. she said that people often ask her how much she get, how she gets so much done. And so she said, so here it is. It comes down to two things. One, I plan. And two, I work the plan. Basically, she works hard. She does it. She just yeah. has what she needs to do and just does it. Has a list of things and just gets it up, gets on with it. And I thought mm. that's so, you know, no, it really no. simply, but that's basically the crux of it, it's isn't it? Though, really? isn't it? Put some work in. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's up to us. It, they all say, ask a busy person to do something. And it's yeah, because they're absolutely. better at actually just getting things done rather than. Yeah. talking about and sitting around watching tv and not realizing mm. actually you could be doing something different that's more yeah, procrastination or dithering about is such a killer for creatives yeah absolutely because you let's face it you can be as talented as you want but if you don't put pen to paper you don't achieve anything yeah it's you know i mean the, mm. i was just looking at this plant just going through the planet mm. um, and i like the fact that after you do all that you do loads of exercises to establish what yeah. your goals are and what your financial yeah. goals are um oh god yeah did, did you see the bit about the 30 people <laughs> you need to know yeah. i've got five so far how many have oh, you got well i've got about sort of 12 15 so far but i've I've put not just people, I've put organisations down, things like galleries. Oh, okay. That's a good idea. Because basically, um, yeah, I need to crib off you, I think. <laughs> I think I need some inspiration on who I need to know. Yeah, it's a great list. It's, it says people you need to know. Um, and you've got to just fire them off, haven't you? Kind of from the top of your head. Yeah. But I'm going to work on that. But also, if you don't know what you are aiming for, how do you know what people you need to know? Because how would you know who can help you if you yeah. don't know what you're aiming for? So I thought yeah. that, that was really good. But the, the one thing, um, apart from all the marketing advice, there's loads in there about sort of 
just the basics of if you've got a web, you know, one, get a website, but how to get people to your website. There's all that sort of information in here. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, which is brilliant. And there's things to learn, you know, and identifying things you need to learn. So if you don't, you know, it talks about something, say maybe um, SEO, something. Search engine optimization. That's it, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, that is I know quite... words, but how to do it. You know how to do it? No, I said I know the words, I just don't know how to do it. <laughs> well, I think there's something on my, I know on my website, there is something on there that you can actually put in keywords. Yeah. I'm not only right. sure. I think I'm going to, it's one of the things I'm going to ask um, Kerry, who set up my website for me. And built my. And Kerry is brilliant. She set up her own website to actually. Um, yes. Websites. What is it called again? If what anybody wants it? to look her up, she's Aurora Eye Solutions. I like that letter I as opposed to I. Yeah. Aurora Eye Solutions. Kerry Lawrence. She's just yeah. a gem. But she, she's brilliant because she converted my website into a commerce site. Um, mm. Because I'd been sort of. I mean, I suppose this year really prompted me to do it because with not having face-to-face -face sales, it made me do it. But um, thinking, well, I've got to have an online facility to buy my work. Yeah. And she talked about it all at the time. And it, it sort of went, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it went in one ear and out the other. And I sort of had a look. But I think I have another chat to Kerry and sort of ask me. It's one of those things you need to kind of revisit a few times to actually get, unless you're techie, it yeah. takes a couple of times for it to sink in, unless you're using it all the time. You know, it's easy to forget what it does, isn't it? So, well, I'm yeah. just I'm just looking at the book, but um, I've got to the point where I'm just planning my first UC ninety day project, and nice. the book is split into um, quarters. So you have your your um, you know January, February, March activities. And then you each after each um, quarter, you assess, you reassess, and see where you are. But I Actually, quite like the fact that it's like that. Yeah, me too. Can we incorporate that into our um, accountability calls? Maybe have a quarterly um, yeah, where we reflect. Because I think that would help us both. Did Gina get one of these? Yes. yes. Yes, I think she did. Right. In which case, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll to see which polish we're for. We'll float it with Gina. See whether she's in. Up for up for okay. I I think it's um yeah because it when you go it's before you go into your next quarter you then review how things have changed both in your sort of home life and health life you know yep. things like you know, the things around for your wheel of life it's wheel of life wheel of business and it sort of talks about your mental health physical health friends family um learning something new, achievement, that sort of thing. And then business, mm. wheel, of life, uh, wheel of business is um, more to do with marketing, finance, products, strategy, you know, and all that sort of side. But it lets mm. you review it so you can see how you feel about each one, you know, where you think it's you are, good. like a 10 for each area. So yeah. I, I, was, I, I was treating this book with, you know, fill it in, it in with a pencil. See mine. <laughs> I wore it straight away. Black ink straight away. Look, I even put like remember at school. Yeah. I put my name in there and all my contact details just in case I lose it. <laughs> well, I didn't want to because it's sort. Of, I find it sort of quite a personal document yeah. almost. Mm. I didn't want to have it sort of. I don't know. I sort of started off. I need to have. Need to cough. Hold on. So, yeah, so how are you finding it? Are you using pencil and being all precious? I was, I was, but I have a biro now. So now. Now I've got to the, um, yeah, actually filling in the first duty goal. Mm. I've started to actually fill it in in biro and treating it more as a workbook. Yeah. What it's supposed to I be. I've got to just own it. Yeah. And sort of writing um, note, writing you, note. I will say from day one, you know, like when you're a kid and you get a new book, I've put my details in already. Like, 
This diary belongs to Gaina. <laughs> I've got, yeah. Uh, do you know what one of the things that I liked about it? I know kind of we're talking planning and owning it and everything else, but the heroes bit, you know, it says who are your heroes. And I wrote that down and all through, there's a space of three. Yeah. And the three that I've got are all artists. You know, yeah, it's odd, isn't it? And maybe that's just because I'm thinking art when I'm when I'm working in it. Yeah. Um, but the one thing I won't say who they are, but the one thing that's that's a real commonality, a thread through, because it also says you know their qualities and everything. And one of the qualities is well, they're professional for a start, um, but they've got great work ethic. They turn up. They're consistent, and that's and then they're great communicators. You know, whatever they do um when they're talking to either clients or explaining their work that they, they just put it across so well they're really good communicators yeah. and i think that you know when you think actually they're artists and i should be saying oh i love their work well i do love their work but actually they're heroes because they're so they're so good at what they do and they yeah. can deliver that and explain it and i, I think that's a real strong quality I mean, I've got I've got um, different qualities to different artists, but mm. everybody that I've put down, they all value what they do yeah. as if it was a job for a better yes. place. You know, they value it as sort of like, well, I'm going to the studio in the same sort of expectation that people will think that's absolutely fine um, as someone going to work. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. Uh, I really, yeah, I really sort of value that. And I thought well, maybe that's something, do you think it's half the thing is you notice things that maybe you're lacking? If you're, if yeah, you're it's it in things, somebody. the qualities that I think maybe it's, and I apologise for my phone ringing now as well. Um, yeah, it's things that I wish I could do better maybe, not necessarily lacking, but I know it well. Yeah. Things that I could learn to improve on. Yeah. Um, and you see them and you think, wow, they make it look so easy. So I'm just going to grab a dog. Here we go, yeah. puppy. Um, yeah, and they do, they make it look so easy. And you think actually that's a really strong quality in any walk of life. Yeah. You no, know, it's, it's, it is. It's, it is. You know, you get to know, you get to know their work because you get to know them and you understand how they think and you can relate to them. Yeah. And therefore, you see more in their work. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, I, I think it's, yeah, I think it's all tied up with your values as well. I mean, it's, yeah. it's what is interesting is how intertwined everything is. And if you, you haven't got things in place, then you're not going, it's, I think I heard years ago about an analogy about sort of four wheels on a car. Mm. And you have different elements of your life. If one wheel's off, you're not going to go anywhere. So you need to have everything in place to nice go forward. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't come across that. I don't know where I heard that, but probably a book years ago. Yeah. But, um, yeah. No, I don't know about, I'm a bit of a self-help kind of book. You know, all the business books that you think, I can learn so much from this. Yeah, no, I think sort of some of those are very good and they've obviously proved useful. But no, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about really getting stuck in i am um, and i'm already Hello. working on my january my january goals already yeah um so what, do you get do you have got a plan for january then i have i have got you a plan for january. yes i know i see but you see the thing is my first goal i need to have done by the end of march well, we've got an exhibition in March. We have, yeah. That's not the so main... So it's the goal that's a bit earlier than that? Yeah, well, it's really because uh, I want to... I want to run some... Physically run some workshops. I, I run work, yeah. some workshops, but I want to run a different type of workshop. But, in what way? Because um, your workshops are really quite successful, aren't they? Yeah, but... I. I want to do it so that it's more to do with my process rather than um, what I've been doing so far. So the process okay. of taking it, and what, I suppose, well, taking it from, I suppose, 
um, going right back to where does it come from? Where do your ideas come from, your inspiration? So taking it right back from there and, and helping other people to establish that. See, that makes sense to me because I know your process and I know that when you go on holiday or you go for a walk, you take your sketchbook along and you sketch and then you kind of get the feeling and the colours and you remember them and you take inspiration, you don't do it verbatim kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So you then go back, catch the atmosphere and some of the highlights of the imagery around you, if you like. Yeah. And I think that would really work in workshops because so many people learn to paint, but they don't know what to paint. Yeah. So that's what I, that's what I feel so, like. Yeah. On. But it's, if you're doing that sort of work with people, you need to have sort of better weather. And whilst the British weather isn't great, it'll be better in, in sort of late spring and summer than mm. winter. And so I thought if I have it, have um, things planned, ready to sort of maybe promote at the mm. end of March, then, you know, it's sort of kicking in. It's sort of working back. When do I want to do the workshops? How far do I need to kick it in? Kick back yeah. the part. But the other thing was, if I'm actually out there doing some sketching now, in January, mm. in January, that will in turn feed into my um, March exhibition. Yes, yes. Which I have to say, our exhibition in March is <laughs> going to be called Take Two, because everything we've done actually and this um this version of the the blog as well because effectively we're doing a second iteration of it because here we are doing it as a blog instead um there's two of us and it will be our second attempt <laughs> to do the exhibition so yeah there's lots of take twos going on isn't there so yeah that's in march yeah in again in bath yes yeah, so that I mean, we'll let everybody know about that, but it's, um, mm. that's, I'm really looking forward to that. And I'm looking forward to being able to produce some work just using the process to move in from sort of um, January. Sorry, I'm yeah. talking so much that I'm ending up having to sip water and um, try and stop coughing. <laughs> well, I'm, you're drinking water, I'm drinking tea. So while you um, sip water and try and control your throat, mm. um, I was going to ask you some other things yeah. because I know that you've been um, busy planning anyway because you're you've actually got some work coming out next week haven't you? I have yes I've got um, um, each year I'm gonna to have to stop again I'm afraid okay hold on, hold on. <laughs> and so talking of plans you've got something coming up lately soon haven't you next week I have, I have. I've got um, Bath Humbug uh, down, in, down in 44 AD in Bath. So I'm looking forward to that. It was sort of all a bit hit and miss whether it had actually happened because of all the yeah. lockdown and things like that. But we're only in tier two, which means we can open up. So there are six artists. Yeah. Um, and we're all going to be, so there'll be three in each room, each gallery yeah. room. And um, and we'll all be sort of spaced out, so there's enough social distancing, and there'll be hand sanitizer, and we'll all be wearing masks and face screens and things. But it would just be really nice to be able to show the body of work I've produced this year in one go. I was going to say, is it all 2020 work? It is. There are a couple. There's maybe two or three non 2020 work so yeah, really. earlier, but the majority is 2020 work. So that would be lovely. But it's, uh, yeah. I just hope people come in and sort of see. But I think it will be... Well, there will be limited numbers. There will be limited numbers, yeah. There, people would have, you know, we're only allowed in, I think, I think it's something, uh, we got the rules anyway, and yeah. people on the front door will make sure only so many go in. Yeah. But um, even if there isn't the numbers, it would just be really inspiring to see the other artists naturally to a great bunch of people that go down to 44 ID. it's lovely yeah. for anybody who watching who doesn't know where it is and wants to pop down it's um at the back of the abbey the abbey courtyard where there's always buskers just across the road in your street yeah, in Bath. on a corner oh. isn't it? yeah it's on the corner and it always has a bicycle 
Right. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, attached to the railings. Yeah, no, it's really it's really nice. And um, I didn't think we'd end up doing anything this year, sort of yeah. in, in the flesh. So that is yeah. lovely. I'm really <laughs> everything that I booked onto. It's one of the reasons I thought I needed a planner this year is because. Last year, I, I just had a paper planner. You know, the uh, I think it comes as, as an accessory. Oh, this one. Uh, yeah, yeah, that. yeah. That sort of thing, like a wall planner that you can just pop yeah. up. And I had so many different exhibitions booked in here, there, and everywhere, and they weren't bad by. So hopefully, twenty twenty will be um, more mm -hmm. face to face. Yeah. Well, twenty twenty one, you mean, will be. Did I say twenty twenty? Yeah, well, that's what I heard anyway. anyway I'm stuck in a time warp. Let's face it, I don't know what day of the week it is. It's been, it's been one of those years, wasn't it? You know, when we booked our sessions and I said, Oh, the 10th. Yeah. And you said, Oh, that's the 9th. <laughs> I was in the end, wasn't I? <laughs> Obviously, the power of manifestation really does work. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, so should we start wrapping this up then? I, I like the idea. You know the um, Gina and her mum's group, business yeah. mums. Would you like to finish with that? Because I really like what the, the what's the what's the terminology sort of like what you leave you attract. But anyway, Gina. Um, yeah. The yeah. power of manifestation, or that's it. Something like that. Power of yeah, I'm not sure. But anyway, she, um, Gina belongs to Freelance Business Mums. I think that's what it's called. And mm -hmm. she had to come up with two questions for the group. And the first one, and this is, imagine um, you're a year ahead. You're in December 2021. Yeah. And you ask yourself a question in December 2021. And that being, what is the best business decision you made in 2021? That's the first okay. question. I like that. The second question you need to answer is what has been your proudest business moment in 2021? Okay. So you have those two answers and then you pop those two answers to those questions in an envelope, mm -hmm. and seal it, and you don't mm -hmm. reopen it until December 2021, so a year's time. You have a great unveiling. You do. We could do that. As I our, think we should. Business. I think we should definitely do that. Yeah, but it's it's to do with if you you've put it out there, what you put into the universe comes back to you. Yeah. the law of attraction, isn't it? Yeah, something like that. Mm. But I just thought, oh, what a nice idea! So that's what I think everyone should do. Yeah, that's our challenge then. Yeah, our challenge this time. Anyway, okay. we've right, met. Well, you then. Thank you so much for Zoom three. <laughs> The sequel. <laughs> and let's, and let's, um, let's hope we can actually um, edit it now and uh, get it out to everybody. <laughs> Doesn't get lost in the ether when I try and send it across. <laughs> yeah, I mean, God, I don't know. I've got Zoom one and two somewhere in there. Looking around. And next year they'll probably pop up and I'll... Yeah, <laughs> too late. <laughs> All right, sweetie. Yeah, Love you. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now. Yeah, Bye. Bye. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Bye.